Boing. Let's take a look at importing assets. Please note that this tutorial was created on an iPad Pro using Animation Pro version 1.7. Your screens may look a little different. In iOS, for security purposes, apps are sandboxed to prevent other apps from reaching in and grabbing their files. So Animation Pro really can't import files directly from other apps. Instead, it is really up to the other apps to share their files with Animation Pro. So that makes it a little difficult for me to provide precise details on how to bring in files from other apps, as there are a lot of apps out there, and the process will vary from app to app. But generally speaking, most good apps that handle or produce files will include a share, export, save or open in function, which, in a lot of cases, will be accessed by pressing a button that looks like this. But please refer to your particular app's help for more information. Let's take a look at an example. If I receive an email in Apple's Mail app with an image attachment, I can press my finger down on the image to invoke its open in functionality. Select Animation Pro and add the image to the Animation Pro file manager. But there are some apps out there that choose to use an alternate sharing mechanism that doesn't actually present all of the apps that can deal with the content in question. In those cases, you will see a reduced number of choices and, unfortunately, Animation Pro won't be amongst them. Now you could contact the developers in question and ask very nicely for them to implement the open in functionality. Pretty please with sugar on top? But, as of iOS 11 and version 1.7 of Animation Pro, there is another way around this dilemma. In iOS 11, Apple introduced the Files app. Furthermore, the standard iOS 11 popovers that appear when sharing a file now include a Save to Files option. So, as long as you're on iOS 11 or above, and have, say, a drawing app that presents one of these sharing popovers, you should be able to use it to save your image to a location in Files such as your iCloud Drive. Now in Animation Pro 1.7, a new import button has been added to the main project screen and to the file manager. In the file manager, this button will be visible whenever you are viewing a user category. And you may press it to import assets from locations within files into that category. So let's take another look at the Mail app. This time, I'll press my finger down on the image and select Save to Files. I can now use Files to place that image on my iCloud Drive. Back in Animation Pro, I can then open the File Manager, choose a suitable user category, press the New Import button, and import the image. Now before I finish, there are a few important things that you should be aware of. Animation Pro can only import raster-based images native to iOS, so you won't be able to bring in, for example, vector-based images. If you wish to preserve the transparency in your images, Please use your drawing app to share them as PNG files. In some drawing apps that support multiple layers, you may have to remove or otherwise make transparent the background layer to achieve transparency. In those cases, please refer to your drawing app's help for the details. And finally, please be careful sharing images to your photo library. If you have iCloud enabled, Images may be converted to another format when stored in the cloud, and this may remove any transparency from those images. I hope you found that as informative as I did. Thanks for watching.